Um, sorry about recording in uh, portrait mode instead of uh, landscape orientation, but I am driving in the car and uh, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. So hopefully um, all this will transfer over well. Hopefully you'll be able to hear my voice and I won't have to re-record this. Um, as many of you know, I was diagnosed in March of 2013 with type 1 diabetes and um, since then um, I have had to take insulin shots. Um, I have gone through periods of not having to take insulin shots and many people said that that was um, completely um, irresponsible and impossible, um, but nonetheless it did work out for a period of time. Um, one of the things I did during that time was I cut carbs very, very low, uh, completely out of my diet except for uh, slow vegetable-based carbs only. And I got on almost a paleo diet and then I, I also um, was taking uh, Gymnema sylvester extract, okay? The Gymnema plant is from India and um, it does reduce blood sugar uh, in the blood, it reduces glucose levels. And um, this extract is very strong, 75% uh, gymnemocides, I guess, or something. Anyway, um, you could bottom out and go into a, uh, a possible like um, hypoglycemic coma, um, I believe, if you didn't have any uh, hyperglycemia or, or diabetes and you were to take this kind of stuff, right? Now, one of the things that um, I've been wanting to do for a long, long time is what I'm going to start doing soon, and that is uh, try to document uh, my struggle against diabetes, all right? And I do have a struggle. You'll never hear me say my diabetes or I have diabetes, okay? That's, that's not in my vocabulary because I was redeemed from the curse of the law, okay? People who are Christians, you might... Um, you might understand that kind of terminology, that kind of language. If you're a skeptic or not a Christian, uh, perhaps you don't know what I'm talking about at all, and that's fine too. But I'm telling you now that psychologically, I am, and spiritually and physically, not accepting diabetes, okay? I'm not accepting it in my um, list of attributes or things that I possess or that I own. I'm not owning that thing, all right? So I'm going to, um, I've been doing a lot of research regarding uh, diabetes and um, uh, regarding other autoimmune diseases and um, different things like that. Um, I've studied myriad, dozens of, uh, of, of different types of uh, diets or different types of supplement regimens or different types of everything. And um, I've, I've gone over all of these, and if need be, I'm going to try one after the other and document them all. So if nothing comes out of this at all, it will still be an online compendium of uh, my um, experimentation with uh, different claims regarding diabetes and, um, and um, the treatment, you know, alternative treatments and whatnot. In the end, I'll probably just uh, opt for uh, medical treatments, and I'm not trying to discount medical science, and I'm not trying to like expose some vast conspiracy. However, uh, pharmaceuticals are the new oil, and um, it is in the interest of pharmaceutical companies to keep people dependent on certain things, all right? I realize that insulin has saved thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. I'm not trying to discount that either, all right? Uh, prior to the 1920s, um, if you were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, that was an absolute death sentence, okay? I got that. Uh, but I also know that we are making um, all kinds of progress regarding stem cells and other types of therapies that could um, eradicate the disease or even all diseases once and for all. So I'm going to do a bit of biohacking. I'm going to do a bit of supplementation. I'm going to do um, some different things, and I'm going to try to uh, quantify... Uh, my findings and um, com compile them here, compend them here so that um, they are at least an online reference of one person, that's me, uh, and my struggle against diabetes, okay? Um, like Tim Ferriss is uh, fond of saying, I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on the internet, all right? So I'm not saying that anybody is going to have the success or failure that I am going to experience in this endeavor. But nonetheless, uh, this is just uh, my account of what is happening to my body and what I've done uh, against it. Now, here is the interesting thing, okay? Tomorrow, I am going to go on a three-day water fast, okay? A water-only fast, and at the end of three days, I'm going to test my—I'm um, going to be testing my glucose levels the entire time, and until 
Um, if I don't see a marked improvement after three days, I'm probably going to extend it to five or six days, okay? Now, uh, my reason for that is that um, it has been shown, and very recently, um, in the last like 20 years, it was kind of suggested, and in the last couple of years, it has been um, uh, clinically verified that fasting as little as three days can cause new stem cell growth and can reset a person's immune system, okay? Um, there's going to be a couple of links um, that kind of uh, lay out exactly what some people have done to, to, to come to this conclusion um, in the description of this video. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the slow carb diet. Uh, I'm going to try that for a little bit and see if that um, reduces the amount of uh, insulin that I need to take with meals, okay? I'm certain that it's going to, but nonetheless, I'm going to document that process so that you can see that, okay? And uh, eventually, after I stabilize myself after the fast with a good cal caloric base, then I'm going to go on a 10-day juice uh, fast with only raw fruits and vegetables, but actually not really very many fruits, just vegetables. And I'm going to try to use um, chlorophyll, green uh, vegetables. Uh, chlorophyll and hemoglobin are almost the same chemically. You can look uh, up the chemical, the molecular uh, structure of both, and you'll see that they are extremely um, similar. One has um, an iron or copper and one has manganese um, in the center but uh, other than that even the aromatic rings and different chains uh, carbon chains they're all uh, exactly the same okay so I believe that a um, a chlorophyll based diet uh, for a short period of time is going to regulate my hemoglobin a1c okay now um, that being said um, there's something else. I should probably go through a list of my health ailments at this time from head to toe, okay? Number one, um, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Number two, I have a psoriasis-like uh, rash that has covered my entire body and that attacks my immune system and has even for like a month or two months at a time caused extreme muscle pain, um, organic tissue uh, decomposition, has uh, restricted my movements down to practically nothing, uh, similar to like a rheumatoid arthritis. I believe the term for this is dermatomyositis. Okay, there's that. My teeth um, have uh, started to uh, deteriorate. Maybe on the surface they don't look so bad, but inside uh, there's all kinds of gums, uh, bleeding gums and all types of uh, that. Um, I have had a pain in my left um, shoulder that uh, I thought maybe was arthritis at first, but it got so bad that I couldn't move around. And when I went to the hospital after falling at the skate park, which I continue to do, um, they told me I had a torn rotator cuff. Although no MRI was taken, they did take x-rays. They said the joint was fine. So uh, maybe a torn rotator cuff, uh, perhaps um, it could be anything, okay? I've had extremely high glucose levels and cancers only survive on glucose, okay? So if you, it has been proven uh, that you can stop the uh, spread of tumors and you can starve cancers by cutting glucose, all right? That's, that's been proven. Um, there's a link to that. I'll put that in the, in the description as well. So um, after this video, um, tomorrow I'm going to um, start by showing you my fasting blood sugar. And from there, I'm going to go three days with only water and uh, I'll document that process. So yeah, um, subscribe, check this thing out. If you know somebody with uh, diabetes or you uh, know somebody who's interested in, in autoimmune diseases that includes Crohn's disease, IBS, um, multiple sclerosis, ALS, um, all types of, uh, uh, of immune disorders, then, then tag them as well. I want you all to be blessed and I love you so much.